So now we are going to see a new feature which is only available in Office 2010 onward. This new feature is called Slicer. If you go to Pivot Table Options, you will see a new option called Insert Slicer. This option is not present in Office 2007. This slicer will act as filter on your data. However, it is very easy to use the slicer. We will click on Insert Slicer and let's say I want to use my product as slicer. So I click on that. Click OK. So as you will see, I have slicer with me. Right now everything is selected so I can see everything. If I want to remove something, I can simply select whatever I want. I can press Ctrl and click multiple items. I can again remove multiple items by clicking on them. So this way the slicer is very easy to use and easier memory because Excel 2010 has a different way of creating pivot table. This is much more useful when you are using your slicer as page field as a filter for your pivot table. So let's assume you want to put this product instead in a row you want to put it in a report filter. So as you can see right now I need to click on that select individually and instead of doing that I can use my slicer as a filtering tool. So this way slicer is very useful and if I want to remove the slicer I can first click on remove all filters and then I can right click on that and I can simply click on remove product filter. So slicer will be gone and now this is your normal pivot table. By the way remember that you can use multiple slicer at a time as well. So far we have seen how to use single slicer. You can even use multiple slicer by clicking options, insert slicer and you can select multiple slicer like vendor name and product name. And as you can see now you have two criteria to filter upon. Let's say I click on bill and co. So now it is displaying me product sales across all quarters only for one vendor bill and co. I can select pick and choose whatever I want. As you can see this product C is grayed out because for this vendor I'm not having product C. If I select multiple vendor as you can see all the products are available. I can choose multiple product as well in the same slicer window. So now you're using combinational slicers and the purpose of this slicer is to use multiple criteria to filter your pivot table. 